Have you ever wondered why planes don't fly in a straight line? It's a question that's crossed many minds. You'd think the quickest route from point A to B would be a straight line, right? But the world of aviation begs to differ. Here, straight, takes on a new meaning, introducing us to the concept of the great circle distance. This principle suggests that the shortest distance between two points isn't a flat line, but a curve. So, when we talk about flying straight, we're not talking about a flat straight line, but rather a curve along the Earth's surface. Now you might be asking, what determines this curved path? Well, several factors come into play and it's more than just a whimsical decision by the pilot. First, the rotation of the Earth, known as the Coriolis effect, influences the flight path. As the Earth spins, the atmosphere moves with it and planes need to account for this motion to reach their destination accurately. Secondly, fuel efficiency is a major consideration. Planes often follow a route known as the Great Circle Path, the shortest distance between two points on a sphere, which, interestingly, appears curved on flat maps. This optimizes fuel consumption, making flights more economical. Thirdly, planes need to avoid turbulent weather for passenger safety and comfort. They may deviate from their original flight path to circumnavigate storm systems or turbulent zones. Lastly, air traffic control plays a crucial role. They guide planes along predetermined airways, ensuring safe distances are maintained between aircraft. So, in essence, the flight path of a plane is a delicate balance between efficiency, safety, and navigational regulations. In conclusion, the flight path of an airplane is not as straightforward as it might seem. It's a complex dance influenced by the concept of great circle distance, the Earth's rotation, and the quest for fuel efficiency. Weather patterns also play their part, diverting planes away from turbulence and storms. And let's not forget air traffic control, the choreographers of this aerial ballet. So the next time you're on a flight, remember you're not just flying, you're part of a complex and fascinating dance in the sky.